The old man was at home watching an aerial combat movie, wondering why the sound effects were so realistic. The next moment, Soon, firefighters arrived at the scene, and the sight before them left everyone jaw dropped. It turned out that just moments ago, the command center received a distress call. A man claimed his plane was about to crash, and asked for help. Is this a light aircraft? No, F-16. Only then did they realize the caller was a fighter jet pilot who had ejected and was now hanging from a chimney. But more concerning than the pilot's situation was the crashing plane. Fortunately, the hot girl escaped unscathed, but the old man was pinned under the plane on the couch, his legs numb and breathing becoming increasingly difficult. However, just as they were preparing to cut through the couch, Firefighters despaired upon discovering a fuel leak from the plane's tank. Any spark at this moment could trigger an explosion. Adding to the horror, the missile mounted on the plane was pressing down on the old man. Firefighters decided to dismantle the missile under the guidance of the pilot. As they opened the cover and exposed the wires inside, Go ahead and snip that red wire. The firefighters were about to cut the wire when suddenly, Disconnect the white low voltage coupling. Just as they were about to cut the red wire after disconnecting the white one, Okay, go ahead and cut that green wire. The firefighters and the operator were dumbfounded. Uh, you said red. Did I? Yeah. You said red. Uh, let's go with red. This conversation left everyone frozen in place. At this moment, the old man suddenly became unresponsive. They were left with no choice but to cut the red wire. A firefighter noticed something unusual about the old man's couch. It had an armrest. Out of curiosity, he gave it a tug. As the backrest of the couch folded down, the old man slipped out from under the bomb. Guys! Hey! Guys! Guys! Finally, they managed to rescue the old man safely, with a mix of relief and disbelief. Hey! Do me a favor. Tell her I died. Oh! Thank God! It's a miracle! Well, it was touch and go there for a minute, but I think he's gonna be just fine. What? No! I meant it's a miracle that hideous chair is finally out of my house. God. What house? This woman just sneezed and two large round worms wriggled out of her mouth. However, even the rescue team almost gagged at the sight. The team doctor, using forceps, extracted the round worms from the woman's mouth. She reassured the woman not to be nervous, as these were just two plump round worms. She then asked if the woman had eaten any unclean food recently. The woman replied that she only ate organic food directly from the farm to the table. Clean and organic aren't always the same thing. Next time, wash your veggies thoroughly. Roundworm is transmitted through feces. Hearing this, the woman vomited. However, after vomiting, she experienced a new complication. Upon examination by the team doctor, it was discovered that the woman's airway was blocked by a foreign object. The team doctor quickly used a suction machine to insert a tube into the woman's mouth, and numerous roundworms were swiftly sucked out from her airway, filling an entire bag in no time. Despite the thorough cleaning, the woman's heartbeat stopped. The team doctor immediately began resuscitation efforts, and eventually, the woman was revived. The man's public toilet suddenly lifted off into the sky, not long ago, the man suddenly felt the urge to use the public toilet, rushing in. Just as he was halfway through relieving himself, he suddenly felt the temperature rising rapidly, so hot that he even took off his clothes. Wanting to step outside for some fresh air, he found that the plastic doorknob had melted. At the same time, people outside also felt the abnormal temperature, and their ice creams melted instantly. People around started stripping off their clothes, and some even fainted from the heat, with balloons bursting one after another. Even more bizarrely, the man's public toilet suddenly flew up into the sky. He tumbled inside until he was completely wrapped in filth. He quickly called 911, reporting that his public toilet had come to life and flown away. The operator asked for his exact location, and he said he was at an amusement park just moments ago, but now he had no idea where the flying public toilet had taken him. Meanwhile, water began seeping into the public toilet, and the water level kept rising, bringing him closer to the heavens. The man's public toilet suddenly lifted off into the sky. He quickly called 911, reporting that his public toilet had come to life and flown away. Water began seeping into the public toilet, and the water level kept rising. The operator quickly informed the man that this type of public toilet could be opened from above, as long as he unscrewed the screws. The man hurriedly pulled out a coin, found the screws, 
but before he could unscrew them, the coin slipped into the water. Rescue teams were searching everywhere for the man's flying public toilet, but there were no rivers or lakes nearby. Who would have thought the bathroom had flown into a water tank? They quickly cut open the top and rescued the man. After being rescued, the man narrowly escaped death. Got a pulse cap. In the 120s and stabilizing. Caleb! Marie. Oh, thought I was gonna die in the crapper. He just glanced at a hot girl on the roadside, but the next moment, a blonde bombshell fell from the sky and landed right on his car. Although firefighters arrived at the scene immediately, learning that the girl fell from the seventh floor, everyone thought she was beyond saving, preparing for the arrival of the coroner. But then, the girl suddenly dashed for air and came back to life. Everyone rushed to rescue the girl. However, just as they were preparing to move her, Two, three. Whoa, 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 whoa. Both her legs are shattered. He quickly instructed a teammate to fetch a splint to stabilize the girl's legs. To uncover the truth, firefighters prepared to investigate, but they found the girl's phone used for live streaming. They opened it and saw. I'm calling this one the possum. No. <laughs> what did we just watch? Cry before the fall. It's just pitiful for the innocent man driving. The man suffered a heart attack, but when the firefighters were ready to perform CPR, the girl refused to come out of the swimming pool. Instead, she held on to the man tightly. It wasn't that the girl didn't want to come out, she simply couldn't. Vaginismus, resulting in penis captivus. In reality, the man's heart condition had scared the girl so much that she became too nervous and contracted, jamming the key. All they needed to do was pull him out of the swimming pool. However, the girl refusing to go to the hospital in her current state if they couldn't pull the man out. At a critical moment, a firefighter instructed the girl to close her eyes and imagine. Hey, what's your name again? Sophia. Sophia. Hi, I'm Eddie. Do you like Jello? Jello? Uh, I mean, it's fine. And what's your favorite flavor? I don't know, lime? Nothing helped. So I played a game called the Jello Body. So I want you to close your eyes for me. I want you to think about your feet and feel them turning into soft lime jello. Feel that? Good. Okay, hey, let that jello go up to your calves, up to your thighs, up to your pelvis and stomach. Your whole body is turning into squishy, bouncy jello. You are one giant Sophia jello mold. Miraculously, with a Got click, the lock opened by itself. At the same time, the man regained consciousness. There's jello. Where you're going, loads of it. 